Hi everybody. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you to create this little carrot. And these carrots are for these mini dessert cakes that I have on my channel. I also have a video just for the strawberry and all the links will be down below in the description box. So I'm using the orange and the dark green and I'm gonna get started and I do hope you enjoy. Round one of the carrot, we're gonna do six single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm using the bottom part of my loom and I'm gonna take my first band and wrap it around three times. One, two, and three. Now you're pulling six bands through, one at a time. Reaching in, bringing your first band through, end on your hook, and you wanna bring your top loop over. Bring it to the side. Go back in for your second band, bring it through, end on your hook, and top two loops over. Bring it to the side. You're gonna continue like that, band through, end on your hook, and top two loops over. You can remove this off the loom, move your bands around, and then attach your stitch marker. I'm just making sure it's all even. I'm going to attach my stitch marker to the band that's around my hook. For round two, we're just going to do a single crochet in each chain around. So you're doing six single crochets. One band, one, 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 all the way around. So at the end of round two, you're going to have six stitches. I'm just going to go in my first chain and add my first band. One single crochet. The next chain, you're gonna repeat just with a single crochet. And all the way until you get to the stitch marker. So you should have six stitches still. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round three, we're gonna increase to nine stitches. It's really small here, so make sure you don't skip any of the stitches. What we're gonna do is a single crochet followed by an increase, single crochet followed by an increase, and you're just repeating this three times. So I'm gonna go on my first chain not where it's getting pulled, and I'm gonna add my first band. Chain two, you're doing two single crochets in that one chain. Back in. And repeat, one, two. Next chain, two. And one more time. Again, you should have nine stitches and remove your stitch marker. For round four, we're gonna do nine single crochets. So you're just adding one band to each chain all the way around until you get to the stitch marker. One, 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 all the way around. I have nine bands here, so at the end of round four, you'll have nine stitches. Don't go where it's getting pulled. Your first chain. You can see that I'm squeezing the carrot. I'm not trying to stretch it open. I'm 
You have nine stitches and remove your stitch marker. For round five, I'm using the orange color still, and what I'm going to do is a single crochet followed by four invisible decreases. Now I'm going to be adding an extra band to each when I'm doing my decrease. If you're not familiar with Just Avi's technique for the invisible decrease, I'm going to do that part slowly. So I'm just going to go on my first chain and we're decreasing to nine, uh, sorry, six stitches. I'm going to go on my first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and I'm going to do a single crochet. Now the invisible decrease is with the next two chains. You're doing a slip stitch in each one of those chains and leaving it on your hook. When you get three loops, then you're going to slide. You're going to repeat with the next two stitches. Just so you know, I'm not adding any stuffing. I didn't feel it's necessary. So I have three loops and I'm going to slide. three loops and I'm going to decrease one more time and slide. So you should have six stitches, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that is around your hook. You want to open this slowly just so you don't pull any of your decreases and you're going to see your stitches. For round six, I am going to switch to the dark green color. And I'm going to do four slip stitches and leave them all on my hook. Then I'm going to tie it off using double green bands, just with a slip knot. Because I'm changing color, my first band is going to go through all the loops that are on my hook. and slide. Now you do have five spots here where you could but we, we just don't have enough room and we don't need to catch the last stitch. So right now I'm going to do three slip stitches and leave all of these bands on my hook. So you want to be careful, bring it through your chain and leave it on your hook. Make sure you're just going through your chain So right now I have four loops on my hook. You're going to bring your double bands through all four loops. Grab the end and slide. Now you're just going to fix it up by moving everything around. You want to move your stitch marker or remove it. And I'm just pinching the bottom and then fluffing up the top. And it's done.